everyone, it's the English Simmer here and today I am in a completely different setting than what you are used to whilst watching my videos. I'm here in my kitchen and that's because I have something that I've wanted to do for ages here on my channel. You guys know I've spoken about it in videos before and that is creating some concoctions that they have in The Sims 4 and I thought October was the perfect time to do this because as you guys have seen from my Let's Plays, I love celebrating Halloween and today we're going to be making some of the spooky stuff recipes. So my good friend Raphael actually made these things in one of his 24 hours as a sim video which I will leave down below and he inspired me to do this myself, take on the challenge of creating some cheesy eyeballs. So I'm going to quickly run through what I'm going to be using. I looked on Google these are like real recipes like people make these every year for Halloween so I mean if people already make them I'm guessing they're pretty good what I am using is six mini baby bells so you can get these in any supermarket uh, then I am using green pitted olives as the iris of the eyeballs then I'm using black as the pupil of the eyeballs, which I'm not a massive fan of olives, so I don't even know if I will personally like this recipe, but that's what a lot of the recipes suggested. And then I am gonna be using a tomato puree for the blood vessels on the eyeballs. I thought tomato and cheese like goes well, quite well together. I don't know whether you're meant to eat this like by itself, um, but I mean, we're not gonna mix it in with anything, so just straight up tomato puree. I mean, Rafa used sriracha in his. I also do have sriracha in the cupboard, so if this tastes like ass, then I will use that instead. But I'm gonna wash my hands and then we're gonna jump in to making some cheesy eyeballs from The Sims 4 spooky stuff, which I'm very excited about. So guys, I've actually decided to move because in there the clock was ticking and stuff and also it just, the camera angles were not working. So we've moved into the living room, which is not where you usually cook, but hey ho. Also ignore like the pillow fort that we have going on over there. As you guys know, Fred hasn't been well. And that's what we're doing to try to keep him off the sofa. So first off, what we're gonna do, I've washed my hands. I've left the baby bells sat out for a little bit so that we can hopefully try to roll them into a ball. A lot of people just leave them like this, but I kind of wanted to get like a ball shape going if I possibly could. So we're just gonna make them a little bit more like a ball so they're not quite as flat. I'm just really like using my fingers to do this. Fred is currently sat next to me like, what are you doing? Can I have some cheese? Not for puppies. This is not for you. I'm recording this on Friday the 13th, which makes for great Halloween-y content. However, everything that possibly could have gone wrong did. So I turn on, that looks like an eyeball to me. There's a crack on one side, but it's definitely in more shape of a ball. Can you stop huffing? <laughs> it's definitely in more shape of a ball than the others are. So we're gonna do it with the others whilst I continue to tell this story. But yeah, basically I was getting ready to record this video and then I turned on the kitchen lights and a freaking wasp flew out. Like I have no idea where it came from, but I had to try and like fight with my dog over it and it was just, it was not going well. Oh, this one's not as good. This one's like cracking, which is not a good thing. Really? He's just fallen apart on me. I don't think he had the best, the best life prior to this. This one's like cracked all up the back. Um, so I'm gonna just leave him like that because he's not really feeling it too much. The best way to do this is kind of just like squash down the edges and it kind of makes it like a 4D shape. Baby bells are weird, man. <laughs> so odd but yeah if you just like squish the edges it kind of turns itself into more of a circle than they would be if you weren't to do this and then kind of roll it around in your hand a little bit kind of make it look more like an eyeball 
So I'm gonna do this and I'll be back with you guys in a second. So I have rolled all of them. I mean, the first one is definitely the best one, but they look more like little cheese balls than I anticipated, which is good. However, they do crack a bit, so you've gotta be careful. So next up, you're gonna wanna grab the olives, which, oh, they're sat in brine and they smell awful. I can see why I don't like them. Oh, so you're gonna need six of these bad boys because these are gonna be the irises of the eye. I'm hoping these genuinely, I am not gonna like the taste of these. I bet like half of you guys won't either. <laughs> Olives are a very hit or miss food. We've got five, we need one more. You're too small. Oh, the brine makes them look like so much bigger than they are as well. Hopefully these guys will fit. But what we're gonna do is, um, I guess we'll try and like cut the end off. So they have these like little holes in them already cause they are pitted ones. So we're gonna like finely chop the end of the olive off. Oh no, we're gonna go for the next one. So cut two slices off. Fred has definitely found some cheese that I have dropped. So you are left with a slice of olive, which has like a hole in it. So we're gonna put him there, and then we're gonna do it to the six. Oh, we could probably get a, no. I was gonna say we could probably get another one out of him, but I don't think we'd be able to. I am not surprised that his nose is going crazy right now, because these bad boys smell. <laughs> I think this one's too small, but we'll see. Some of them are definitely, they're not gonna look perfect. I'm not gonna lie. I'm definitely not very good at cooking, which I will hold my hands, this isn't even cooking. I can't even class this as cooking because it's really, really not. Yes, I know that they smell, but you can't have any. Sorry, bear. <laughs> He's really like sat here like, Molly, what are you doing? Like, I have not seen you make anything for the longest time. Some of these rings are looking a little bit funny, but we're almost there. We've almost got six of these. Oh, come on. Stop being so fiddly. That's so annoying. Oh, they're all squishy. Okay, so we've got six of them. What we're gonna try and do next is cut out a little imprint in the cheese of like a little circle that our olives can fit in, hopefully. I mean, I feel like this one's too small. You are definitely too small to fit an olive in. Oh man. Right, I'm gonna cut around the outside of him. Come on, Mr. Cheese. Please be nice to me. This is gonna look like a mess. But we're gonna we're gonna try it, you know? There's no harm in trying things. I'm probably not even gonna eat these things because I will not like them. But hey ho. So you want to try and cut out, I'm just like literally sticking my fingers in there, which is probably not something you want to do if you are actually having guests eat these. And then you're going to try to slot your olive in there. I kind of like this, but I kind of want it to sit a bit better. There's better ways of doing this, but there you go. We can, we're kind of getting an eyeball. You know what? I'm actually really happy with how they turned out. So these are the finished products. Well, not the finished products because we've not completely finished them yet, but this is them with like the green in their eyes, which is awesome. Um, and then we need six. Oh, I think I just got cheese crumbs in the olive jar but that's fine because i don't actually think even like my dad likes olives so <laughs> i might have to take these round to my sister's house tomorrow because i know she definitely likes ol olives so i'm probably gonna have to take them round to hers and be like hey guys wanna taste test these for me because i made them and i don't actually like olives <laughs> so then what you're gonna do is cut like a little section of black olive for the pupil. So I'm actually gonna do like quarters perhaps because they are quite small. Oh man. We're practically stuffing the um, green olive with a little bit of black so it turns out like that. These are actually impressive. Like I'm quite proud of myself for having done this. Although this bit's very, very fiddly. So 
let's see how it does actually turn out in the end plus I think I made some of the holes too big that's what she said and they might not be able to like fill them all <laughs> again that's what she said but we're gonna try it we're gonna have a see sorry if you can hear my dog like pattering around I don't know what he thinks is out there but I didn't leave anything in there so he can't actually reach anything he's probably better off staying in here so he can grab like what I've dropped but he's not that clever is he clearly come on little little pupils oh no oh no this one's got a leakage of a pupil he kind of looks even weirder because his pupils leaked look at him what's going on with that one? Oh well we'll leave him not everybody's eyes are perfect you know that's why I'm wearing glasses although my pupil hasn't leaked that isn't something that I have in my eye these are not looking how they're meant to look I thought these end bits would be fine but I think you're meant to use whole olives whereas I have pitted ones because Tesco I mean other supermarkets are available but I nipped to Tesco and they didn't have full olives so maybe you're better off going somewhere else so I finished with the pupils this one actually looks the best because I kept it like whole and just sat it on top whereas all the others I kind of plopped in to them like this one so I feel like leave the tops whole and then kind of just pop them on but I don't know I don't know which is the best way to do this this one looks rubbish so I kind of want to fix him up because he looks like super bad like really bad like really ugly but now he's too big oh my goodness this is too difficult for me my poor little brain can't handle this okay there we go he looks better oh my god we should do them all like that to kind of cut off a so oh my lord nope right there we go I'm not gonna fiddle with them anymore that's fine we're gonna leave them like that and then what we're gonna do is grab a toothpick in case we need them um, I don't know if we will some say do use them some say don't and we're gonna grab our tomato puree and kind of do sorry that I don't have a close-up on this um, but I can show you like the finished look so maybe we'll just like dab it on and kind of try this oh no I don't think tomato puree is gonna work because it kind of just goes on and then like runs off Ooh, this is gross oh my goodness it legit just looks like blood which I mean is pretty good for Halloween but also it looks kind of disgusting this is really hard to do. I feel like if I had a paintbrush, a lot of people say use food colouring, which I honestly didn't even get. I completely blanked on getting food colouring. So this just looks like a mess. I can't even like do this because it's coming out like too quickly. Oh, okay. That one wasn't too bad. These just look like a right mess. These don't look like blood veins. They just look like I don't even know what. <laughs> uh, see if we can like, I don't know. Also, my next door neighbors are being super loud right now. I don't really know why. Yeah, these don't like go off like blood vessels do. They're kind of just one clump. So this part, not going so well. They kind of look like eyes way before I started touching them with this stuff, which I mean, we're kind of getting there, but then this is just gonna fall off. Urgh, this is so hard. Sims, why do you make this so difficult? I probably should have used food coloring because I feel like it would have had like a smaller nozzle. And this is just too fat because I can't get any detail on the eyes. They just look like super bloodshot. It kind of looks like a weird flower but like this is what we were going for they kind of look like eyeballs from far away i mean as long as you don't get close to them they kind of look okay like i would probably not choose to eat that at a party but it's not 
as bad as I thought it was gonna be. So after a very stressful like 10 minutes, I think I've come to the conclusion that the tomato puree is not the best thing to use because it's a bit too clumpy. Like I kind of wish I had got food coloring now because I feel like that would have been a lot easier and it probably would have like stained the cheese and then I could have wiped it. Um, so if you're planning on making these based on my amazing video, I would suggest don't use tomato puree. Even though like tomato and cheese go together, it's probably not the best thing <laughs> for this recipe. Um, but they didn't turn out, some of them look disgusting, but like most of them didn't turn out too badly. They kind of don't look like eyeballs, not gonna lie not gonna sugarcoat it but i think it's time for some artistic shots to make this look even better than what they do i mean hopefully artistic shots can do these beauties some justice Ooh, so spooky much spoop Ooh. Ooh, so spooky so guys, that was my quick little tutorial cooking, not really cooking, but kind of making something from The Sims 4 spooky stuff in time for Halloween. If you want to see the next installment of spooky cookies from The Sims 4, then give this video a big thumbs up. Let me know in the comments down below how you think I did. And I guess it's only right that I should try one of these bad boys. They look so disgusting. This is the finished product right here. I don't like olives, so I feel like these are gonna be a fail for me, but I guess I'll try them just for you. Ugh. Honestly, not as bad as I was expecting. That gives a thumbs up from me. I actually really enjoyed that i would suggest you making these if you feel like you would like them i would try with food coloring though instead of the puree like i said if you do make them let me see them on twitter take a picture of them and tweet them to me at english simmer so that i can see your guys's attempt and see if they beat mine i know they won't because i'm the best but I will judge them. I feel like I should take a picture of these and send them to Gordon Ramsay on Twitter to see what he would rate them. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, like I said, give it a big thumbs up. It lets me know that you wanna see more of this type of video on my channel. And I will speak to you all in my next one. Bye guys.